Hi guys, hello, welcome and welcome back. Without further ado, we just jump straight into the business. So, um, probably you've heard about the Ugly Duckling Challenge. Very many people participated. Well, I wanted to do that too, but well, <laughs> life is tough. So the challenge is hosted by lovely Corey from Desert DIY. And what people have to do is to find the ugliest piece of furniture they can find and turn it into a beautiful swan. I was not able to do that because I had loads of other personal stuff going on. Plus, I had to finish The Beast. That's my next uh, video. So you'll see what I mean and you'll understand why I couldn't participate. Okay, but as I said, let's just jump into the business. So this is my piece. It's dark, ugly, totally outdated. And I'm telling you, if it hadn't been... For me, this old lady would have ended up in the skip. There were a few things wrong in my piece. First were the missing balusters. I have no idea what to call those little things. If you know, please leave me a comment and tell me what they're called. Um, as you've seen, the chips, uh, plenty of scratches, and yeah, a lovely hole. He behave her way. Okay, so this is for me to work on. Guys, before I continue with the story about the piece, this is what I would like to apologize for. My camera went nuts and I realized when it was already too late. So I've got a lot of material recorded just like this. So I'd like to deeply apologize for the quality of this video. I did what I could with what I had at hand. Okay, let's jump back to the piece. First thing I do after uh, inspecting the piece, I clean it very well. Uh, you've seen the toothbrush. I use it for all the grooves and curves and, you know, very hard to reach spaces. And I cleaned my piece with uh, a window cleaner because this is what I had at hand. And because it contains ammonia, it served its purpose. Of course, the whole thing couldn't have been too easy. Yep. The whole drawer just simply fell apart in my hands while I was cleaning it. It was one side and one point, then... Um, yeah, as you can see, there's other part of it just to simply, you know, fall apart altogether. So, yeah, another thing. <sighs> yeah, another thing that I need to sort out. But anyway, I still have to figure this notches, or so whatever you call it, thingy out, so... The idea I came up with was because there were some missing, uh, but I had enough to put every second of them there. So I thought that's, that's the best idea to do because when they were uh, placed in every single space, I felt they were too close one another. So when I could remove every second one i thought that the uh that the shelf looked a lot better with that as i've already had the image in my head of what i wanted to uh to do uh, i removed the backing because i wanted to put the stencil there as well so removing the back uh would help me paint better uh the, the whole the whole back plus the stencil. That's the reason why I took it off. Do you remember that awful hole that was behind one of the drawers? Well, that was my following problem to tackle. So I noticed that pretty much everything was in there and I could simply glue everything back, add a little bit of sawdust 
mixed with glue just to smooth the thing out and it was good to go so i decided not to replace it just add a little bit of glue and a little bit of sawdust to smooth the whole thing out and to push it in all the all the cracks and that did the trick and yeah why why use clumps if you've got you know eight liter bottle of water <laughs> yeah and the last thing of repairs i've done was the drawer the one that fell apart in my hands so i just checked how the parts fit i glued everything and i left it to dry so basically nothing out of the ordinary So here you will need a little bit more of explanation and catching up. Um, the holes from the notches or whatever you call that, I feel that with some wood filler, sanded it smooth, scuffed, sanded and cleaned the whole piece and then I sprayed it with clear uh, varnish, uh, matte of, obviously. Um, that was going to act as my primer and I decided on a clear one because I was going to do some distressing. So that's the reason uh, for my cho choice of material. What you see me doing here is putting the first coat of paint. I went for the color Old White. The piece received three coats of paint in total. Are you curious who won the Ugly Duckling Challenge? Well, definitely not me because I didn't participate, but it was Jay from the Flipping Drawers. Here you can have a look at the screen of his piece and I will not to show you the outcome, okay? I will not show you the final result. You'll have to click on his link down in the description below, go to the video and watch it for yourself, all right? I will also add uh, the playlist for the whole challenge and link to uh, Corey's uh, channel. So please go check it out um, and obviously subscribe. Now let's get back to my ugly ducking please after three coats of paint now is the time for my stencil i like to hold my stencil down with some tape uh, it's just for it not to move uh, however for this particular style because you know i'm going for a farmhouse you know distressed old looking and everything and when you have your painting uneven um well that's that's the style right i truly believe that farmhouse is super forgiving if you've never tried um furniture painting or just you know simply upcycling uh i don't know a vase or a bottle of wine or, or anything like it. So I'm not talking about, you know, huge pieces, but like, you know, something simple, like small home decor. Uh, or, yeah, that's the style for you to start. That's, that's, the star, that's the style to start with. Personally, I think Jamie from Jamie Ray Vintage is the queen of the farmhouse style. I'll add the link to her channel in the description. If you don't know her, please go and check her channel. She and her husband, Zeb, they do amazing things, okay? So uh, if you're interested in like really good tips and, and tricks of this particular style, uh, that's your place to go. So now after the stenciling is the time to distress i'm using 120 and sometimes even 80 grid um sandpaper because i wanted it to be heavily distressed as you can see there's loads of paint i'm taking taking off but this is because what i wanted if you don't like it uh 
so distressed obviously use um uh something that has got a smaller grain and it's going to be a lot lighter okay but i really wanted this to be heavily distressed so that's why uh, i'm using 120 and 80 to uh, distress the paint What I did, I sealed my piece with clear wax. So uh, before to adding dark wax, I I covered everything with clear wax, and I took off the excess. Okay, just wipe it off, and and that's it. And then, and it's what you see me do right now is I added a lot of black wax by Anislon. Uh, I like is for clear wax. My favorite one so far is uh, Rustoleum, clear wax by Rustoleum. However, as for the dark wax and uh, sorry, not dark wax, black. This is black wax. Um, I'm using here uh, Annie Sloan's black wax because I couldn't get here any other brand. So this is th that that's the only one I was able to get, and I'm happy with it. So there are no complaints here. And what I do here is I apply the dark wax, I clean the excess, and then I use the clear wax to clean the excess of the dark wax. And again, this is pretty uh, easy technique and you have total control of how much wax you want, how dirty you want it to look. Uh, it's just a matter of adding more dark wax or black wax in my case um, or using clear wax to, to clean all the excess. So, again, so it's super easy. Like honestly, this is like piece of cake really. I'm just here finishing touches and I was good to go. Guys, I hope you're having fun. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave me comments because that helps really a lot, really a lot. We're letting YouTube know that this is valuable content and more people should have access to it. And also you can support the channel by buying things from the wish list or simply buying me a coffee. That also helps a lot. Thank you very much and I see you in the next episode. And now the before and after what do you guys think i absolutely love how it turned out guys thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you in the next episode bye bye